Hello everybody. This is why it's important to know how to do things yourself and, more importantly, do things yourself. This is actually two wheel bearings, one of which is recognizable. Had some rear end work done on my truck a while ago. One of the hubs was hot so I had them look at it. You know, or I looked at it first and the wheel nut, spindle nut was too tight. So I said, the bearings are bad, you gotta replace them. So they looked at it, they told me the bearings were fine. Put a new wheel seal in there. I took it back. The wheel seal started leaking. Brand new wheel seal. So I brought it back again. They replaced the wheel seal. Over tightened the spindle nut second time. Driving my truck. Loaded trailer. On the highway. That wheel locked right up. Pulled the whole truck and trailer sideways a bit and eventually get the whole mess home. That's the outer wheel bearing. It welded itself together and I had to cut it out with a torch. Those are bearing rollers. This part here, that's uh, whacked by the torch. There's some more bearing rollers. There's the bearing cage, inner race, there's the spindle nut, plastic insert lock nut, plastic melted. Here's the inner bearing, much better shape, surprisingly better, still a little cooked. Ruined the hub, ruined the spindle, and of course I need my truck and trailer, and they're down.